now we will derive the uh, momentum equations for a fluid using a shell balance with a force interpretation. Shell balance derivation of momentum equations. And the law we will apply is that the rate of accumulation of momentum is equal to the rate in minus so rate of accumulation minus rate out plus summation of forces okay so we're going to take a our usual fluid element try to magnify it a little bit okay and this is x y and z and these distances are um, delta x over here we got a delta x and we have a delta y and a delta z okay now the rate of accumulation in um, is easy to obtain for so for x momentum x momentum we have d rho u by dt and remember rho u inside so momentum momentum is m times u and that's equal to kilograms dot meters per second okay so rho u is kilograms per meter cubed okay dot meters per second so that's momentum per unit volume momentum per unit volume so we do it per unit volume so you know we don't have to care about what volume we're dealing with right and then rate is rho u over seconds so units of rho u over seconds so that's partial rho u by partial t okay now what about the rate of momentum in well we have momentum coming in by convection okay so um, for rho u we have uh, momentum coming being brought in um, so so for x momentum momentum in mom in we have momentum being brought in by u so we have u rho u by v rho u and w rho u okay and this is being brought in in the different directions of velocity and it's also exiting according to the different directions so if we take the momentum coming in from the left hand side as u rho u it's leaving over here so this is u rho u at x and it's leaving over here u rho u at x plus delta x now the v velocity is going to transport rho u in the v direction so it's going to come um, uh, from the bottom over here so we have this is v rho u being brought in um, at station y and exiting at station y plus delta y v rho u y plus delta y and same thing for um, z so if we take this plane we have z being brought in over here uh, within the z direction and exiting so this would be this components would be w rho u at z and it's exiting w rho u at z plus delta z okay and then the rate of momentum in is equal to the difference okay um, 
so rate in and rate out minus rate out um, we get uh, we get this difference so um, this is rate in and then rate out at x plus delta x so the net net so rate rate in minus out will be equal to um, u rho u at x minus uh, u rho u at x plus delta x. Now remember this is, has to be multiplied by the uh, area because we want this to be um, in units of rate of momentum. So if you consider um, the units of u rho u, this is equal to meters per second times kilograms per meters cubed times meters per second. And if we multiply um, this by the area, if we multiply this times the area times meter squared, so area times meter squared, that is going to give us meter squared, meter cubed, meter, meter, and then we get kilogram dot meter per second. Here, this should be multiplied by delta V, delta X, delta Y, delta Z. Yep, so that we get consistent units with what I just said. Um, so this guy over here is multiplied uh, by the area in the x direction. So that would be delta y, delta z. Okay, plus same thing for the y direction, v rho u at y minus v rho u at y plus delta y. And this will be multiplied by delta x, delta z, delta x times delta z. And finally, in the z direction, w rho u at z minus w rho u at z plus delta z. Also multiplied by the area, delta x, delta y. So this is in minus out. And in the once we divide by the volume, we're going to take the limit. And that is going to give us a derivative. Now, the summation of forces for the summation of forces. Uh, I'm going to draw this control volume again. Okay. Okay, I'm going to draw this control volume again. X, Y, and Z. Now for the summation of forces, we had the body force, body force, force of gravity, that's going to be um, rho g times delta v, so um, rho g x, rho g y, and rho, d, uh, rho g w. For, um, for the pressure, the pressure we said is always a normal and compressive force, um, and so at this station over here we're going to have pressure force of um, P at X times the area. So uh, this is again delta X, and this is delta Y, and this is delta Z. The area is a delta Y, delta Z, and over here we're going to have a pressure um, P at X plus delta X times um, delta Y times delta Z, and the pressure force, um, um, so in the X direction, X direction pressure force, X direction pressure force, we will have PX, P at X minus P at X plus delta X, okay, times delta Y, delta Z. For the Y direction force, we're going to have P at Y minus P at Y plus delta Y, times delta x uh, delta z and then for the z direction of the pressure force for the pressure force we're going to have p at z minus p at z plus delta z times delta uh, x delta y okay delta x delta y so we have these different pressure forces um, these contribute to the different directions and finally um, finally for the stress tensor so for the stress forces, I'm going to do this for the um, X momentum only. <coughs> we said that the state of stress um, is given by uh, um, forces, the stress forces on three mutually perpendicular planes. So 
in this on this special particular control volume we will have the following forces in the x direction so x direction stress forces x direction only x direction what are we going to have we will have tau x x acting over here and over here we will also have so tau x x but this is tau x x at x and this is tau x x at x plus delta x and remember this is the positive these are assumed to be the positive um, uh, positive stresses okay because they're pointing in the correct direction right the direction so as the assumption we we took a stress is positive if it if it's pointing in the direction of the unit normal um, per se so the unit normal over here is um, uh, is in, in the plus x direction so tau x x in the plus x direction now on a face like this for the shear stresses what is the positive direction it is the positive coordinate direction if the unit normal is in the positive um, coordinate direction so <clears throat> on this face the positive the unit normal is j so that's in the plus y direction so therefore um, the x component of the stress tensor on this face which would be tau y x tau y x points in the positive x direction but on the face at the bottom this is in the um, negative so this is minus j minus y direction so that tau the co the x component of the stress tensor, the, uh, the, the component of the stress tensor in the x direction on this face points in the negative x direction. And this guy would be tau y x. Now this is tau y x at y and this is tau y x at y plus delta y. And same thing for the z component. So on this, um, on, the, on the plus z face, we have a tau I'm going to use blue over here. We have a tau zx. So it would be a tau zx over here on this face. And on the face at the back, tau zx. So this would be tau, tau zx at um, z plus delta z. And this would be tau zx at z. Okay. So now in the x direction, we're going to sum up all of these forces um, and we multiply by the area, obviously, because we need a force rather than just force per unit area. So we will have <coughs> tau x x at x plus delta x minus tau x x at x times uh, delta y delta z okay, plus now on the y faces we have tau y x at uh, y so we have tau y x at minus tau y sorry tau y x at y plus delta y minus tau y x at y times delta x delta z plus the z direction tau uh, zx at z plus delta z minus tau zx at z times delta x delta y. Okay, does this make sense? So we took the forces and now in this case there is a direction, right? So this becomes a negative tau xx and this is still a plus tau xx but we assume that the value here is this is a positive stress now this whole thing doesn't matter the sign the direction the sign convention doesn't matter as long as you're consistent on all faces but what matters in the end is when we take this to a um, when we shrink this volume to an infinitesimal um, element this is where um, these turn into gradients so then x moment the x momentum equation becomes d rho u by dt times delta x delta y delta z okay what is the uh, in minus out we had this in the on the previous page we had uh, u rho u x minus rho u rho u x plus delta x 
and w rho u z minus w rho u z plus delta z etc okay so if we take take this we have u rho u at x minus u rho u at x plus delta x times delta y delta z plus v rho u at y minus v rho u at y plus delta y times delta x delta z plus w rho u at z minus w rho u at z plus delta z times delta x delta y okay and then we have the body force plus rho g x then we have the pressure force plus px minus px plus delta x times delta y delta z okay and then finally the stress components um, which are these guys now we divide by the volume what happens um, so if you divide by the volume this guy disappears we get a delta x over here this guy disappears we get a delta y this guy disappears we get a delta z this guy disappears we get a delta x for this guy same thing and then you shrink the volume to zero and you get the x momentum equation d rho u by dt equal minus d u rho u by dx minus d v rho u by dy minus d w rho u by dz plus d tau x x by dx plus d tau y x by dy plus d tau z x by dz minus dp by dx plus rho g x now i've written this term in the past um, I'll put it on the left hand side so you get the positive uh, positive sign in front of it but this is the way we derive this for um, the momentum and you can do the same thing for the y and z momentum uh, components and similarly the other two equations are written as d rho v by dt plus d right here or equal minus d by dx u rho v minus d by dy v rho v minus d by dz w rho v so we're transporting rho v with the velocity field um, plus d tau xy by dx now everything is in the y direction right because this is the y momentum component plus d by dy tau yy plus d by dz dz tau zy minus dp by dy plus rho gy and similarly d rho w by dt is equal minus d by dx of u rho w so we're transporting rho w minus d by dy v rho w minus d by dz w rho w plus d by dx tau x z we're pointing in the z direction plus d by dy tau y z plus d by dz tau z z minus dp by dz plus rho g z